Well, that was a rough ride. That was a rough ride from Iowa. Iowa does not have the best roads, tell you what. This is the first episode of my farming adventure and see if I can become somewhat profitable farming. Yeah, this is... These are some nice country roads. Looks like the city takes care of these ones. Kinda. They're still rough, but they're nicer than anything else I've drove on. Oh, you gotta stop. Yeah. Here's my farm. The old house I just bought. Let's see if there's any treasures inside. But, oh. Oh yeah, forgot. Yeah, he gave me all the equipment. Let's go. Let's see what equipment they gave me here. And this is an old Mac semi. It's got the day cab on it. Also with the Wilson's uh, grain trailer on. I like it. This is looks like they just bought it just for me. Let's go in the shop. See if the door works. Didn't work when I first bought it. Oh, does. Whoa, looks like they let all these trees grow out and become a little bit of a menace in the barn. Gonna have to get those all chopped up. But oh dang, they got us a John Deere 280 RT. Let's go. This has got some dualies. That's gonna be nice for the mud that we have around here. All that mud and all the just pain in the butt terrain. They, get, they also bought us a, what was this, I can't, con, I have no clue what this brand is, this must be like some European ripoff brand of John Deere, my man right here, this John Deere, they got me a decent looking planter, and then a Xena Zen, 851, so same brand looks like they got a little discount. They bought the planter, then they were able to buy the seat or the grain cart. Oh, I like that. They got a deal. Let's see. Oh, I see some. I see some in the in the brush. Oh, oh, that's a case. Oh, there's a case seven seventy one fifty. Well, well, they got the Draper header too. Dang, these people must have had some money if they were able to afford a Draper header. Wish it was John Deere though, but I guess they'll have to do. See if it'll start. Oh, it does start. Oh, there you go. See if we can fit this thing in the barn, or is it coming in an outdoor combine? Oh, uh, Catch that. Oh, that's unfolding. There you go. I'm trying to figure out some of these buttons. Well, I accidentally did a little damage to the uh, barn, but since these trees look like they've already grown through the barn, it wasn't like my my auger was gonna really make a damage. Let's see, will her fit? Will she fit? And you check. Will it? Fit? Oh, look like it might barely fit. Let's see if we can get it further in so we can see how close it actually is. Oh, actually, we got like a foot and a half of room. Okay, had some good good room there. Back this over here. Not have any walls. While I'm at it. go see if I can see if it fits in the shed real nice it does okay so this baby's parked in here and hopefully it it doesn't have any issues I don't think it should 
We'll lock up this barn. I don't know why my blinkers are still on. Hmm. Interesting. But, oh. Let's see if we can get the barn open. This one jammed. Nope, never mind. There you go. Just real rough to open. Probably hasn't been open in years. Back this way. Nope. Oh, yeah, and they also gave us some grain storage. Let's go. At least I won't have to take it down to the elevator and keep paying money on this thing. Because that's what got me last time. That's my second farm I've ever had. And the first time I always had at the elevator. And I always had to keep paying money. And it made me bankrupt after a while. I also had some help, but I couldn't afford help this time. So it's just gonna be a me. Just gonna be a single person doing all this. This is gonna be rough. Let's see where am I backing off at so far? Oh, got some good backwards driving here. Better than I thought I was gonna do. Where am I parking at? Right. Where's this thing going? Where is it going? Okay, so that actually might back up like almost perfect in here. Oh, let's see. Can we straighten her out? Straighten, straighten, straighten. As long as we know it's straightened up. Oh, look at that. Almost perfecto in the barn. Let's see. So I think, yeah, that, that piece of equipment should be able to get out. Let's, I also bought some land. Let's go check out the land that I bought. See if it's any good. Because this was like months ago that I bought it, but it took me forever to drive down here. Should be this field right next to me. Right behind me should be the field that I own. I believe so. Let me go check on my map that they gave me. Yep, that's mine. Okay, looks like it's good to go. So once I get some, um, once I get some stuff rolling, I should be able to go harvest that. But for right now, let's just go adventure around. See if we can go. Talk to any neighbors or anything. See if we can go find some pe cool people. I think this way is town. I believe so. I believe this is the way to town. Or let's go talk to some of our neighboring farmers. I believe there's one down this road. Red over there. Met him a couple as soon as I was going to buy it. Just talking to him. See how nice he was. He's actually very nice. He uh, said I could help him or he could help me out if he needed it and I'd help him out if he needed it. So we got a good kind of deal going. I like it. It's red right here. I guess not. Red's not here. Man, that's a steep driveway if I've ever seen one. That's like a straight up in your driveway. Let's see what he's got. I haven't really looked around his farm since I talked to him. Huh, I got a nice barn. I think that's a cattle barn is what he told me. He's raising cattle. Yep, that'd be his cattle barn. And that back one back there I'm assuming is his equipment barn and his grain silos well that must have been some rough pothole I just hit Let's 
see if we got see if there's some food we can go grab. Restaurants on this side. There's no way there. Oh, never mind. Wrong turn. Getting getting used to this town. This food over here. I think, uh, no, it's a bowling alley, actually, but you know what? Bowling alleys always have food. Close. Oh, that was, like, perfecto parking. Turn it off. Man, look at this, GM this dude's GMC up park right next to. He's got the long bed, it looks like. Extended with the crew cab. Oh, man. Oh, he parked really far away. What does his license plate say? Land of living skies. Hmm. Saskatchewan. Maybe he came around. Maybe that's the person I saw when I was driving in. Are they open? Nope. They're not open. No. Dang. Must be su Oh, yeah, it's Sunday. I forgot. That's why. They're probably not open. Well, guys, I think this might be a pretty dang good day. I was able to finally get to my farm after buying it and hoping I had some good land. Looks like I do. And then, we're, oh, hey, what the heck, bro? He just about ran, me, ran into me. I'm gonna, there you go. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna head back to my house, see if there's any food, cause I brought some groceries in the back of my truck. See if there's any food I can cook up tonight and I'll see you guys in probably the next one. Well, this is real bouncy, holy cow. But if you guys want to help me out, maybe I can get some bigger equipment, better equipment. It would help if you guys liked and subscribed. You guys can see some better content if you guys want it. Who knows? Oh, almost missed it. My old house. Alright, well, I guess I'll take in some of my groceries. Back seat. Oh, forgot a nice heavy rest. Okay. And hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.